I was walking along the river near my home when I discovered something amazing. This huge creature, similar to a planaria, is a hammerhead worm. I was so surprised to find not just one, but several of them in the area. I captured one and took it back to the lab. Do hammerhead worms have planaria-like regeneration abilities? Ta-da! Here is the hammerhead worm. The body pattern and head shape vary by species. The one I found this time has a crescent-shaped head and a single stripe on its body. As it moves, you can see the head shape changing. The thickness of the stripes on each worm's back varied slightly. Due to their appearance, hammerhead worms are often mistaken for leeches or earthworms. However, unlike annelids, which have segmented bodies, hammerhead worms are not segmented. The hammerhead worm is part of the flatworm phylum and resembles the planarian, which we've shown in previous experiments to possess excellent regenerative abilities. While planaria measure about 2 centimeters in length, hammerhead worms can grow up to 20 centimeters. This species originally lived only in warm, humid subtropical regions, but it is believed to have spread worldwide through the plant trade. I had heard that their numbers were increasing due to climate change. I was very surprised to see them near my home. However, in other countries, this species of hammerhead worm is considered a serious pest as it destroys soil. This is because it mainly feeds on earthworms, which help make the soil fertile. I saw one attached to an earthworm like this, and it was actually feeding on it. What a shock! By the way, there is something that's worrying me. When I flipped the hammerhead worm's head over, I noticed it didn't have a mouth. So, how do they eat their food? Just like the planaria we showed you before, with its pharynx protruding from the center of its abdomen while eating, the hammerhead worm also has a pharynx that emerges from the middle of its abdomen, which is not usually visible, and it digests its food externally before ingesting it. That's why it was attached to the earthworm like this. It's quite scary, isn't it? In other countries, they prey on earthworms in large numbers, damaging the soil. But fortunately, there are no reports of significant damage because they do not multiply in large numbers in some regions during winter. Phew, are you relieved? Also, while planaria have a spot on their heads that detects light, we couldn't find anything similar on the hammerhead worm. According to international sources, there are several eye spots distributed around the edge of the head, but even after close observation, I couldn't tell if there were any eye spots. If anyone knows about the eye spots of the hammerhead worm, please let us know in the comments. Finally, planarians have such a high regenerative ability that if you cut one into three pieces, you get three worms. If you cut the closely related hammerhead worm into three pieces like this, will you get multiple individuals? When I cut it in half like this, to my surprise, it continued to move very actively even after being cut. Three days later, the head was still moving actively, and the body part was moving like this. However, after a week had passed, it did not completely regenerate, and it gradually weakened. The reason for this is that, although the hammerhead worm also has a high regenerative capacity, it is said that because its body is larger and more complex than that of the planarian, it takes longer to regenerate and the probability of failure is higher. In addition, the hammerhead worm also uses its regenerative capacity for asexual reproduction, and at that time it is said to cut off the tip of its tail, autotonomy, and reproduce. Isn't that strange? That's all for the video about the hammerhead worm. This was Fishy Science, where we use science to unravel the mysteries of the world.